I promise I'm gonna get outside and skate and make a real video soon. Has anyone ever come up to you and said, are you still skateboarding? It happens to me all the time. Usually it's a little more positive than that. They're like, are you still skating? Well, there's actually a lot of people in their 40s, 50s, and even 60s that are still skating. I've seen 80 year old skateboarders. So my friend from Adventures in Skateboarding at 40 Plus sent me a video of him and some of his friends skating. We're gonna be checking that out, but first I wanna to react to Tyler Hansen, a 41 year old Canadian guy who just released the best skate part of his life. All right, so I have seen Dan Corrigan and Dan Weeb's video on this, but let's check it out. So he starts it out with a backside nose blunt slide down a skate park ledge and then we've got here like an added piece of wood with some sheet metal to this spot a spot where people ollie over the rail and grind or slide down uh, and then he's going to pop a really massive ollie that's that's a high ollie have you any of you ever tried to ollie over a handrail that's like above hip height uh, this is a tall guy he's kind of built like Ben DeGro, but it looks like thinner and taller, like more bend to grow than bend to grow. And then we've got a gap to a 50-50 here. I'm not going to be able to pause this every single trick. Uh, kick flip, lip slide, n tail slide, uh, really high heel flip. Was that a heel flip? So yeah, I mean, this guy kind of skates like a young 17, 18 year old. He's built kind of like that too, really thin. Look at those legs. Imagine what this guy looked like when he was younger. So not the best style. When he's doing really hard stuff on handrails, it actually looks better. But when he's doing like smaller tech stuff on ledges, his arms are kind of all over the place. See that looked good. Big stuff, the big stuff he looks like he's really stylish on. It's because he's a bigger, taller guy. I don't know exactly how tall this guy is. He looks like he's 6'3", six, 6'4", six, but really thin. That was cool. Really good at tail slides, tail slides shove, and that was really smooth, too. Back lip. He's good at these big rails. Good at... Wow. Backside flip. Aerial heel. See, the big stuff looks stylish, but I feel like if he's skating a little manual pad or something, he's flailing his arms around. That looked good. And most people don't look good skating in shorts. Here's his friend doing a back 5-0. He's really good at flipping out or doing like shove-its, flipping in or doing like shove-its out, stuff like that. Oh, that was nice. Wow. Big front board. That looks a lot like Ben DeGroff there. Definitely built similar. Is everybody in Canada like a vegan who's a tall, thin guy? Like, I feel like Canadians would want to put on a little bit of, of weight to keep them warm. Lip slide back on that same handrail, the gap to it. He looks young. That's a 41 year old. He looks younger than me. Yeah. I gotta lose some weight. That's the key to looking young, it looks like. I wanted to put this guy in here real quick because this guy's actually in his 60s. At least that's what it says on the internet. You never know. Uh, when you see something on the internet, sometimes it's true, sometimes it's not. But he's actually pretty good. Another thing is, uh, he's thin, you know? 
just like the other guy. I think he likes to throw his board around a lot. I feel like older guys, they do a lot of like no complies and stuff where the board can kind of fly around on its own and then they can step back on it because they have board control, but they don't want to get hurt. He can do some power slides, kind of walk it on, onto a ledge, rides a motorcycle. <laughs> I bet this guy's cool in California. You know, this is just like, this is every skateboarder in California when they turn 60. So the video Anthony sent me is called Still Out Here. So let's check it out now. a good first clip. I've definitely heard that before. Okay, we're going to turn this down because who knows where they got this audio from. Music might be copyrighted. So they're celebrating skateboarding after 40. Ooh, nice rock and roll. Crook to, was that a board slide, I guess? Yeah, there's Anthony. I've skated with him. I made a video on his channel. He made a video on my channel a while back. It's been a couple years, I guess. Ooh, back 50-50 on a round rail. Backside flip. Oh, I wish we had an indoor park. Right now those are fun it's like the manuals on a bank these guys are from all over the place this guy's in Australia it looks like got a nice park there Oh, this is the rock and roll guy from before. That is an interesting spine. It's an interesting obstacle. It's kind of more artistic. This guy's got probably good weather down in Australia and some really great parks. So he's got an unfair advantage. I'm very jealous. Looks like a fun mini ramp. It's really mellow. I feel like it's kind of got like noping, like almost no coping. So I'm going to be back to doing regular videos out skating soon. It's just been so cold. It's been raining and snowing. The weather's been terrible. I haven't seen the sun in over a week. So we got England, 43 year old. Do you guys know Thrasher magazine was just made to keep uh, independent trucks in business? It was, it was, it was originally made for an, an advertisement. This is a long video. I don't know that I'm gonna have enough space to screen record this whole video. Let's skip a little bit. Okay, so we won't play this entire video. Those are those are always fun, all the slappy nose slide stuff. So I'll I'll leave a link in the description where you guys can check out the full video. But we're not going to be playing the full video because it's 24 minutes long. Ooh yeah, nose slide uh, pop up to crook. That looks like a fun spot. Interesting. That's England.
Ooh, that's nice. Slappy 5-0. I'm not going to be like too harsh on these guys because these guys are older. This guy's got a big part here. Oh, oh. Oh, here we go. Here's my friend. He'll flip. Slappy. Board slide. He's got a good heel flip, really consistent. He did one at our park. Some bowl pumping. He skates slappies for ledges, I think you said, and like ace for everything else. I think slappies are horrible for ledges, honestly. I feel like they're better for everything else. They're really good for turning, like loose, for a loose feel. But if I was skating ledges, I'd be skating like thunders. To have that that lock in. He's got a really good front nose slide too. I feel like those are hard for me. I don't sit all the way up on them. I kind of like lean in, like lean off, you know, like not my my weight's not centered on the shoulder that's on the ledge like on the front shoulder I guess Ooh, fakey do that to a manual so he's got some weights holding the rail down he's similar to my size pretty pretty similar So is that one of those boards with the weird truck in the front, like for, for carving? What are those things called? You guys know what I mean? So yeah, I mean the key to skating when you're in your 40s or 50s is just to stay fit, to stay thin. The reason you have trouble skating when you get older is because you usually get heavier or you injure yourself and to avoid injury you're going to want to stay in really good shape so diet and exercise is going to help with that i've said that many times in videos so yeah i'll leave the link to this thing so you guys can check it out i've been trying to get into better shape this winter because it's hard it's hard if you live in a cold climate uh, to stay in shape in winter but you might have to go to the gym, you might have to run, and just get out and skate, even if it's cold, just bundle up, put a coat on, go out there and skate. Uh, big movements, you know, like playing basketball in a gym or running. I feel like that's a little bit better than just lifting weights. I feel like you gotta do a little cardio, even through the winter. Hiking's always good, but just stay thin, stay light. If you have to go vegan, go vegan. Whatever it takes. Because skating's worth it. It really is. Skating is more important than eating steak and potatoes and sugar and candy, you know? So stay thin, stay light, and keep skating. So yeah, that's all I got for you today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, scroll through my channel, check out my other videos, and hit that subscribe button because I got a lot more videos to come. Thanks for watching.